In the heart of some of the world's coldest and most desolate regions, remarkable discoveries have shaken the world. From preserved ancient remains to eerie natural phenomena, these cold areas have a lot more to offer than just chilling temperatures. Antarctic Strawberry Feather You won't believe what those marine biologists found in the frigid Antarctic waters. They stumbled upon this bizarre sea creature, and they've got quite a sense of humor as they named it the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star. Sounds cute, right? Well, looks can be deceiving. This thing is like something straight out of a sci-fi horror flick. Sure, its body is all plump and strawberry-like, but its appendages are a whole different story. Imagine this. This critter has a whopping 20-arm-like thing sticking out like they're props from an alien movie. Some of those arms are almost as long as a ruler, and they've got bumps and feathery stuff all over them. It's like nature's little joke, first luring you in with a sweet name, and then, bam! You're face to face with this eldritch nightmare. It's a reminder that our planet still holds some crazy secrets, even in the iciest, most remote waters. Who knows what else is lurking down there, right? Liuba. Back in May 2007, a hunter named Yuri Kuti and his sons had a pretty wild discovery while they were by the Yurubay River. They accidentally stumbled upon the remains of a female woolly mammoth calf. It's one of those things that makes you go, whoa, what's this? They named her Liuba after Yuri's wife. Liuba didn't make it past 30, 35 days old, but she was a pretty hefty baby, weighing around the same as a sack of rice and being as big as a large dog. Now, here's where the story gets even crazier. Yuri, after finding this prehistoric baby, figured it was something special. He got a friend involved and that friend had a bright idea. Let's get in touch with a museum director to check this out. So, they all head back to where Yuri discovered Liuba. But guess what? She was gone, vanished into thin air, or so they thought. Turns out, Yuri's cousin thought it'd be a good idea to make some cash from the find and sold the remains. But here's the twist. Experts tracked down the buyer and found that Liuba was still in top-notch condition, just like when Yuri first found her. Her skin, trunk, and even those big ol' eyes were all preserved like a time capsule. Today, you can actually check her out in a museum not too far from where she was initially found. It's like a little piece of history on display for all to see. Rup Kund, Skeleton Lake. So, picture this. There's this lake up in the Indian Himalayas called Rup Kund Lake, which is nestled about 16 5 hours 100 feet above sea level. For most of the year, it's just your average frozen pond, chilling in the snow-covered valley. But when the sun decides to shine a bit more, things get seriously creepy. When the ice melts away, it reveals hundreds of human skeletons. Yep, you heard that right. Actual skeletons, some of them with flesh still attached. No wonder they call it Skeleton Lake. Over the years, they've found around 600 to 800 sets of skeletal remains here. The local government calls it a mystery lake, which honestly is quite fitting. Scientists and anthropologists have been scratching their heads about this for over half a century. Now, here's where it gets even weirder. Most of these folks were on the taller side, taller than your average Joe. They were mostly middle-aged, and they even found 15 women among the 38 bodies. What's mind-boggling is that some of these bones go back a whopping 200 years. No one really knows how or why they got there but there have been quite a number of theories. But as for the exact reason, well, that's exactly why it's dubbed a mystery lake. Alien eggs. The vastness of the universe, with more stars than the grains of sand on Earth, has led many to ponder the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Do aliens actually exist? A video from Jason Nilsson on YouTube, taken on the surface of Utah Lake, sparked interest around the world in this issue. The video captures an enigmatic circular arrangement of small, spongy objects seemingly penetrating the ice effortlessly. In the video, they poke these objects, describing them as having a somewhat slimy texture, and even propose that they could be alien eggs. However, 
the true origin of this mysterious circle is far less extraterrestrial. These peculiar entities were initially an art installation crafted by Claire Lewis, comprising flour, salt, and water. Lewis speculates that the salt interacted with the ice, causing this effect. What's more, this revelation comes three years after the installation was first created, surprising those who had dubbed them alien eggs. Icy Finger of Death Mother Nature's capacity for both beauty and destruction is perfectly exemplified by peculiar formations called brinicles, or in a more vivid description, icy fingers of death. These phenomena observed in the frigid waters of the Earth's polar oceans often escape the lens of cameras due to their underwater occurrence. Brinicles, often likened to inverted glass cacti, have the astonishing ability to extend all the way from the sea ice's underside to the ocean floor, leaving a frozen trail of havoc in their wake. Their victims include starfish and sea urchins, among others. Professor Andrew Thurber from Oregon State University, who has had the privilege of witnessing brinicles firsthand, describes them as delicate, glass-like structures reminiscent of something conjured from the whimsical imagination of Dr. Seuss. These tiny yet potent ice formations can ensnare marine life on their descent to the ocean's depths, leading to the eerie creation of black pools of death, a phenomenon that surely ranks high on the list of experiences one hopes to avoid. Blood Falls In the midst of Antarctica's vast white landscape, there's a peculiar spot known as Blood Falls that stands out with its striking crimson hue. Back in 1911, this peculiar phenomenon was first spotted by scientists who stumbled upon what appeared to be a frozen waterfall painted in shades of deep red for reasons unknown. The prevailing theory was that algae were responsible for this unique water discoloration. But the fascination with Blood Falls goes beyond its captivating color. It also holds the title of being the world's coldest glacier, where iron-laden water continually flows. Cascading from the Taylor Glacier within Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valleys, it piqued curiosity for its distinctive appearance until just a few years ago. The Taylor Glacier's remarkable feature is that it entrapped a small body of water roughly two million years ago, which sheltered an ancient population of bacteria. This isolated lake is incredibly saline and rich in iron, and when it mingles with the surrounding oxygen, it produces the iconic red hue of the waterfall. Essentially, it's the same principle that causes iron to adopt a dark, rusty hue when it oxidizes. The Iceman In 1991, a mummy known as Otzi the Iceman was unearthed from the frozen Otzel Alps. This ancient individual is estimated to belong to the era around 3000 BC. Interestingly, it wasn't archaeologists or scientists who stumbled upon this remarkable discovery, but rather two tourists who happened to be in the right place at the right time. The tourists alerted the authorities, leading to the Iceman's excavation. However, a strange and eerie series of events unfolded after the removal of Otzi's body from its icy resting place. Shockingly, seven of the people who played a role in unearthing him met untimely deaths, with four of them being victims of violent ends, while the others passed away from natural causes. Legend has it that Otzi met a violent demise himself, having been struck in the head with an arrow and brutally battered with a rock. Some believe that the Iceman's curse may have sought revenge on those who disrupted his eternal slumber, but despite the eerie coincidences, there's no concrete evidence linking Otzi's curse to these tragic events. Incan Mummy If you take a look at this seemingly still figure, you might mistake her for someone taking a long nap. But the reality is quite different. She's been mummified, and her level of preservation is just mind-blowing. People say her remains are among the best kept in the world. So here's the story. This Incan mummy was found way up high, over 20,000 feet above sea level, right on the edge of a volcano. And guess what? She had two other children as companions. It's crazy, but she was so perfectly preserved that there were still lice hanging out in her hair. They call her La Doncella, 
or The Maiden, and she's the mummy of a teenage girl who met her end during a ritual sacrifice in the Andes Mountains over 500 years ago. The archaeologists who stumbled upon this incredible discovery back in 1999 claim these kids were left up there on the mountaintop to freeze as sacrifices to the gods. Nowadays, you can check out La Doncella at the High Country Archaeological Museum in Salta, Argentina, where she's on display in a specially designed, chilly, low-oxygen setup. Singing Ice Drop a hydrophone in a frozen lake right here on Earth, and you'll hear something that'll remind you of a battle scene in Star Wars. They call it Singing Ice, and the whole deal is surprisingly straightforward. See, nothing carries sound like water does. It's why whales can belt out their songs to each other across massive ocean distances. And it's why we get stuff like the bloop, echoing miles and miles across the Pacific. So, when you've got an icy lake and it's doing its thing, forming cracks and fractures, usually when the temperature's making big shifts during spring and fall, those fissures let loose energy in the form of good old vibrations. It's like the ice is jamming out in its own cosmic concert. Puppy Jour. Check out this Ice Age wolf puppy, and I promise you, she's nothing like the fierce predators you'd expect. I mean, just look at those little baby teeth and those adorable soft ears. But here's the kicker. Her DNA tells a different story. This mummified pup, going by the name Jour, hails from a group that's basically the granddaddies and grandmommies of all the modern wolves we see today. The thing that makes this discovery even more mind-blowing is that Canada's permafrost did a top-notch job freeze-drying her remains just after she passed away, and that was around a staggering 57,000 years ago. I mean, Jour is basically the complete package. She's almost 100% intact. We're only missing her eyes, but come on, we've got the rest of her. Now, determining her age wasn't as straightforward as the scientists expected. They had to use not one, not two, but three different dating methods to nail down the fact that she lived around 57,000 years ago. But hey, all of it was worth it to know how old this good doggo is. See you all next time.